From the look of these tanks, you would think I shouldn't be showing this to you, but this is important because I wanted to prove something with this aquarium. Are axolotls that sensitive? If you're doing lots of research on where they come from and their habitats, I found it funny that everybody says they're really hard to keep and or they're really sensitive. And their tank right now is disgusting. This is mostly due to what's on the front of the glass. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be as bad. This aquarium has had no maintenance since it's been set up. It's been more than six months now. You can see from the top, there's lots of plant growth, but yet the biofilm on the top is super thick. There is no filter in here. There's no chiller. Cause between 78, 72 Fahrenheit. There's three axolotls in there, which were little guys, but now big guys. But anyways, I wanted to show this to you guys before I actually clean it. But I think it's time that we clean this up so we can actually enjoy them more. We do actually get a nice view from here and we do get to see them from the other space, but it's just, it's time to clean it up. So first things first. I'm gonna work on the biofilm a little bit, skimming off the top. At least the bigger chunks. Now for the most satisfying part. Scraping. The unveiling. Let's go this way. We do got some hydra. Had some hydra in here. Or no, it's still there. Amazing what a little scraping can do. Now it looks like a good tank, you know? Well, this stuff just settled at the bottom. That'll become new dirt or and or they may eat it. There's some shrimp in here still that may eat it. I may go ahead and change a little bit of the water, just give them a little freshy fresh. I'm not gonna do a huge water change, just a little bit. Hello, little big one. Now I do have three of them. I'm only seeing two of them. So I'm guessing the third one's in there. There's one that loves it in there. Especially whenever somebody's messing around with them. Oh, here's the third one, peeping inside out of the cave. The sand substrate is actually dug out from my yard. And you can see here on the gills that they're super long, so they've been healthy. Looks like, looks like they didn't prefer me moving around in their tank. They're both hiding. This guy's pretending like we can't see him. Beautiful. Look how healthy they are too. So they're not that sensitive. I've been feeding them this, but this isn't as this isn't very big for them anymore. But it does keep them active as far as hunting it around the tank. I really want to get their bellies full, I use these. Yeah. 
So yes, you can do no filter axolotls. No chiller either. No airline. Just nature. One thing you should know about these guys is they love to hunt for their food, so I like to scatter their food around the tank. That way, it takes some time to search through. I've got neutral water. It's got mineralization, about 170 TDS. I don't do pH. pH is a goose chase, and yes, there is still shrimp in here. I do have a natural food source of shrimp. Since crustaceans, actually a big part of their diet. I have found that the clear shrimp are the ones that seem to be the only ones around. You see all the gill hairs, that, they are super long too. So with no water changes, no filter, it hasn't been detrimental to them. They actually are really smart, and they can see really well too, so if I moved real quick, I would probably scare her. They are very personal. I don't mind coming up to you either. Believe it or not, I've never actually cleaned the bottom of the substrate. Not once. Never vacuum cleaned, never siphon cleaned, nothing. It's just nature. All the beneficial bacteria and whatnot help take care of their waste, if not algae and other microorganisms. Same with when I scrape this. I didn't clean any of that out. I didn't siphon any of it out. And this is days later. You can see how it's all settled naturally. The side glass is still dirty, but they don't care. Actually gives that side glass a more natural look, if you ask me. Lights off at night, becomes a whole communion. I'll put you guys back to bed, sorry. La 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 la. I love seeing these guys in the ambient light. That's my axolotl tank. An update on how they're doing.